Hey Best Fiends fans, my name is Megan and I'm from the YouTube channel Insomniac Stream. For today's video, I'm going to show you how to get in the spirit of Halloween and turn yourself into a skull slug with a little bit of body paint and a black background to help you out. First thing you want to do is glue down your brows. I just used a washable glue stick, so super easy and just to flatten them and get them out of the way. And then the next step to make everything easier is to just sketch out the design of where all the features are going to sit on your own face and neck. For this, I used a white eyeliner pencil to sketch out where the eyes, nose, skull face, and little skull body are going to sit. From there, you can jump into the paint. I am starting with a color called Bone, which is just an off-white cream color for the skull features along the face and little rib cage. This is a water-activated paint, so this is a water-activated paint, so very easy to apply and to get off. And I find it easiest to use a synthetic brush to get as much paint as you need in one stroke and keep the application nice and smooth. For the slug's body, I went in with a gray and black water activated paint, starting with the gray to make sure that you can highlight all of the edges and areas that you want to stand out, especially since we're going to be adding black around everything. We want to make sure that the actual slug body is still visible and doesn't just blend into the background. And then everywhere else you can apply the black paints and for any areas that you want to blend together with the gray, you can go in with a clean dry brush and just blend the two colors together so that they make a smooth gradient and transition. And if you do accidentally apply too much black to one area and you want to lighten it up, you can go in with the gray or even a white water activated paint and blend that over top and you'll get that nice light color that you're looking for. And then to give more definition to the skull and rib cage, I went in with a mango color first or just a darker cream or brown would work just as well here. And I applied this to all the little edges and areas that I wanted to stand out a little bit more. And then I followed that with the gray paints again to further that definition and help figure out where you want different things to stand out and pop off the skin. The gray is also fantastic for the more hollow areas such as the nose which is supposed to be see-through and the eyes so they look a little bit more recessed. If you used black here it might get a little bit lost in the background and shape of the body so the gray is a nice transition shade to bump this definition without making it too strong so that it just becomes confusing to the eye. Once you're happy with that shading, you want to go ahead and outline everything in the black. So any areas that need to be filled in as well as all the way around the skull slug and body so that it disappears into the black background. And you can also use this to better define any sections that you maybe want to reshape or resize, such as along the skull or sides of the body. And then the last few steps to again just kind of boost that contrast and make everything really pop is to go in with a white and highlight the different edges, especially along the slug body for any sections that maybe aren't popping enough against the black. This will be really, really useful. And then you want to go ahead and fill in the eyes as well with the white so that they can blank out your own natural features a little bit more. And then once you have the white fully applied all the way over your own eyes, you want to fill in the little tiny pupils with black and you can even add a little white highlight to them. And that is it for your skull slug. And there you have your Halloween ready Best Fiend slug. We really hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please let us know in the comments down below. Leave a like, subscribe to the Best Fiends YouTube channel, and share the video around with your friends. If you want to see more videos like this, please let us know which characters you would like to see brought to life. And if you want to see more makeup fun from me, feel free to check me out at Insomnia Extreme. Thank you everyone very much for watching. We can't wait to see you in the next video. And have a very happy Halloween.